checked into the car boot. Hopefully, if my internet plays ball today on the Sunday that this is being uploaded, what did I get? From the car boot, well, nothing quite as exciting as when we came home with that Power Plus dust cup, but it is a Hoover. There's two vacuums, actually. This is by far the most interesting, which will probably set your expectations for the second one. But we have ourselves a Hoover Enigma, one of the last vomits from the Pure Power chassis. This, apparently, because it does have the matte finish, which looks utterly trashed. It's the 750 watt, not quite terrible version. I don't know if it works. I had to carry it around pretty much the entire car boot because it was on the first row. And if you want to watch much more fun car boot stuff than mine, check out Mr. Parabasis because he does some cool car boot stuff. And I think I'm just going to go and see him on Sunday. And we'll do one together. Let's have a look at the trash I bought and see if it works and what's missing and why. It was only a fiver. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner and enigmatic enigma chums. How are you today? I say explain why this was a five. Well, I probably paid about £4.33 too much for it in the first place, bless it. But it was there. It caught my eye and dang it, I go there with no expectations nowadays. It was always a bit rubbish, the one that I'm going to at the minute. The nice countryside ones haven't opened yet in my part of the world. So yeah, this was literally there as soon as we walked through the door and I grabbed it. I mean, straight off the bat, although we have the nice Hoover logo that these things have, it has been eaten a little bit, which is a shame because yeah, this is all painted on ever so cheap. So as soon as it gets scuffed or gouged, probably by a pet, it, it just gets trashed. We have our on off switch on here, obviously no auto sense here. This is how much they just copy pasted on this machine. That would have been all part of the auto sense. There's the blanking plug for a bag fill light as well, but not on this model. Bar that, I mean, she reasonably completes our, oh, there's actually a bit more damage there on the handle, there we go, so yeah, she's not pretty, she's never going to be a minter, but that's fine, we have a flex which kept falling off all the way around the car boot cell, and that's the top really, let's move on down. Where the blackness descends and you wonder why you spent a couple of hundred pounds on this rubbish, or in my case, a fiver. I hope, oh, we, I haven't opened this yet, and I was hoping we at least have the bag holder in there. We don't have a bag though, which is mildly annoying, but we do have a filter, if I can take it out. Ow. I'll wash up. Okay, I don't actually have any of the H. I don't know what these take. I don't have any pure power bags at the minute, so I mean, you know, we don't even need bags. I don't even know if it runs. We're getting slightly ahead of ourselves. Let's actually first. So this is still under this disgusting exterior a Hoover Pure Power. So the fact that it's that good is fine. Does the release pedal work? Ooh. Yes. It does, that's, that's, that's good. After about 733 of those, it snaps. It's very, 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 very common. I've probably got some somewhere, but we don't need it. If yours ain't broken, don't try and fix it because you normally end up breaking it, trying to get it out of the chassis. We also have, look, the pet hair and allergen remover. Oh, all the allergens that you wouldn't remove with that, I couldn't imagine. We'll also take the hose out because I don't want to snap any of the clips because that would be annoying because this thing is worthless and deserves no money spending on it at all. So hopefully we've got everything we at least need to get going. I think, yes, because they never change that. Ooh. We can take out the hose, which is full of grub, and luckily this came with the full extension. I think, was it the Enigma or was it just the Evo that came with the stupid short hose? I think hopefully we avoided that, because this is, this is much nicer to have, a full stretch hose. That's, that's what makes the Turbo Power 3 so lovely to use, because it has its hose. We also have, oh look, translucent. Nice scabbard tool, which is, you know, I don't think that's ever 
been used. There's a, there's a scuff there, but that's probably just where it's rubbed against the wand, which again is just, it's quite worn, but I don't think it's been used. No, no, it's, it's, it's once, maybe. Maybe twice, oh dear, is that probably how terrible this thing is. And then we are missing some tools there. However, I went into the shed and I've actually got one wrong, although it'll fit, and got ourselves a dusting brush, although this is the correct era, I think, of upholstery tool. There, how to find. There's actually too good for it. This is a very nice, no, 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 I could either sell that or keep them, but I'm going to keep them. Probably won't stay with this, but we can now lie and say it came with a full set of tools. Whew. Right. Should place our bets on how dirty this is. You'll see it first. Ooh. Doesn't smell like fire either. What? That's... I mean, again, the, the reason most of, especially the pure power older ones, died is because they were, especially the bagless ones, because they were so terrible. A lot of dirt came up here, and these just brick wall, literally. And the thing would explode about three weeks later. But that's, that is mint. I mean, actually, now I look at it, even the wheels aren't that trashed. That side, yeah, I mean, who knows? It's probably been wheeled around a bit. But this side... Mm, there we go, a Hoover, I'm not, PU71, yeah, 0176, who knows, yeah, 750 watts, wow, that's actually, I mean, this is all scuffed and filthy, but again, it won't take much to, to make it trashed, I thought I'd just snap the top corner, but I have, so, okay, that is interesting, so what is under here going to be like, because again, if it's, Pretty clean, you know, if it's been used, but not a lot. Again, the, only, the only real no way you can tell it's been turned on at all is that bit of damage there. I mean, it's even got a very nice brush run. I think I might, we might have accidentally bought, I mean, it's still terrible, but bought something that's quite good. Dare I say it? I mean, the only way we're going to know for sure is to turn it on and give it a go. And because we are missing a slightly important part of it, and I'm certainly not going to faff around wasting a bag to bodge into it for this, we'll just pre-vacuum and then we can give it, give it a go. Okay, there we go. Hopefully, it just won't pick up too much garbage, really, because I know this is either going to have a completely exploded motor or it's going to run fine. I, I'm, I'm now a little bit confident in saying that. I, oh, again, the cable was nicely untangled. Now isn't because it's just cheap, nasty, whatever. That's enough. Oh, are we off? I think so. Well, no bangs yet. Are we ready? Sounds a bit clogged. Let's let's take the hose off. <laughs> Clog in the hose. Two seconds. In fact, first it's a see-through hose. Can we see where it is? I think it's there. Uh, ah, look. Uh, oh, there you go. A, a paper clip. There's now no paper clip. Have we just paid a fiver for, I mean, admittedly, it's still terrible. Let's not big this up much more than it needs to be. But we just paid a fiver for a machine that look, we have, let's be honest. Oh, there might be a lot of dirt now about to bit around the front, but that's fine. We don't care about that. All we need to know is that it runs. <laughs>
Eek. Look, that was blue when we started this video. Okay, that's enough. That's amazing. I am more than happy with that. I mean, it's like, ah, get on. The next step will now be to invest in some bags. They do nice HEPA fleece pure power bags, which is exactly what this is going to get. I have some plans for this. Indeed he do, especially now I know it runs. So I'm quite happy with that, you know, impulse buy. I want to buy her everything better, but there we go. Let's quickly have a look at the second vacuum we got. Yeah, I, I didn't want to buy this, I'll be honest. It was, this was Eva's fault. I was trying to tell her that, no, I don't want it because they're terrible. Eva, we just don't, Eva, no, Eva, Eva. Oh. And now we own a Dirt Devil Handy. Oh, five pounds this costs as well. I have to think that's better value for money. Oh dear. Yeah, we now own another Daredevil handy. But I, you know, we potentially have unfinished business. A lot of you complained on the video where we took apart my mum's old one of these that was just trashed. These wear out to the point that they will run, but they're, 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 they're just dead. You. you Get rid of it. And, you know, that's why that one went. I have zero want the care, desire for these, to be honest. But, equally, we've got the broomy still. So, you know, we get a couple of photos of them together. And it even might do the stairs. So, for our £5, we have ourselves a moulded plug with a core grip. And I very recently filmed the video on the Dirty Devil Electrolux clone, actually. Ooh, I'll give you... Actually, you're going to see that after this anyway. So, yeah, um, that had its broken cable, so I'm a little bit paranoid. Yeah, and I can already tell that it's not going to be great because the brush roll barely spins even with the belt off. Oh, God, that's always that's always a good thing to see. Well, the motor's OK. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fair enough. Uh, do we even have a bag? This came from a different store. Ooh, we do. And ooh. I mean, it's no good to anyone, but look, genuine Dirt Devil toss out bag. Toss you. I, I've never actually seen a genuine Dirt Devil bag before. I dare say we might even be able to briefly use it, although it is like, well, it, it is paper, but it feels like I'm about to rip it. Look, <laughs> filling above the line, voyage the warranty. Yeah, I dare. I dare. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, we're now stuck with another one of these turds. Oh, two terrible vacuums. I probably should have just stayed at home. Um, right, uh, go get some tools then and we'll do a quick get this working for the minimum amount of work needed. Well, before we even lift the screwdriver, I guess we should check that the motor turns because the spindle turns freely enough. <laughs> like a moped, mim, 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 mim. but I think that might be a good thing. Yeah, I think that's just not been turned on for our problem is they're not ball bearings, it's all sleeved and having this garbage everywhere isn't a great sign anyway. Oh, I can't even get a knife in there. Oh, so I'll pick all of this garbage off. In fact, no, it's going to be easier to get at that from in here. So we'll take this off. And immediately I noticed that it's not been back on properly before. So there we go. What? This is why you don't let your children have money to themselves. Ugh. So garbage in there. Well, can we even take you out? Ah. Brittle, brittle plastic. Yeah. Just, ah, there we go. Oh. I don't, what the, oh, that was an entire end cap that is now over there. We'll leave that for now. And yeah, now at least I can get a knife there, look straight down onto there. I can't hold it in any way, shape or form, but it'll be easier. I'll get that and the brush roll cleaned up. And with all of that removed, she's looking a fair bit better. The motor spins well. We're going to pop the, again, all right belt. There's nothing physically wrong with it, I guess. Well done, Eva. These are such a gamble, folks. Don't spend actual money on one, even if it's boxed up, because they just wear for fun. Oh, there's still more fluff everywhere. Let's just 
There we go. Where's the mouth? They just fill up with fluff. There we go. Look, that should seat all the way around because it also holds the frame in place. And with these two screws in and the bag on, it should now be better. I say should because I can't remember which way the belt goes around. So I figure we may as well figure out together if I got it right or wrong. Doesn't that sound nice? So, yeah, on there, let's see. Okay, you know, bless it. There we go. That dirt devil. This was the UK variant of what we had. I mean, it's, it sounds terrible, but a lot of that's in the brush roll. It sounded better without it. And that's fine. That's fixed. Okay, score draw. I think we got away with that one. So there we go. This is what I wasted my money on this Sunday. What did you get from the car boot sale recently? Comment down below. And I'm actually a little bit excited about this, but I feel a project coming up. So I've had something in the shed for years which needs to be done. And this will now help that. Yes, that's right. This was only really actually bought as a donor machine, but it is going to live. Just perhaps not quite as it is. I feel a custom thing coming on. Because it's been a while since I've played with a pure power type machine. And this has just given me a click. And I think we will see that again. This, I don't know, it runs. I let the kids play with it and find somebody who wants it. Or comment down below. Do we take this apart? Give it a full service. Or I'll film the whole lot. See if I'm doing it right. See what hints and tips other people have. And we'll see if we can improve it. Because, again, that's what we tried to do with the mum's old one. It just wasn't really worth it. I think this has potential. Let me know about that as well. And, yeah, happy Sunday. I hope you have enjoyed. And until next time, I, and probably these two, will see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>